my name is Nami Yokoyama and I specialize in trampoline bowling. Hi, my name is Kim Bundy. I'm playing Bundy. Hi! Have you seen me before? It's me again, Jiayi. I play futsal. You know, I mean, then the easy spots to play. You just need to hold the racket and you need to hit the chuck the car. <laughs> you don't even have to move as well. <laughs> you know, my, my parents would used to play badminton together with the, her young family so I was inspired by them playing badminton I chose burning because I like to see the burn not having to play down very exciting It's because that it's not just about taking the ball and throwing onto the lane but it's all about understanding the lane the line adjustment and the ball equipment so I felt like okay, it's very interesting and I thought like, oh, maybe I will take this ball. So that's why I'm still bowling, that's why I'm still enjoying, and I'm, I'm still learning. So why did I choose to play futsal? Because um, I wanted to get fit. And I found um, futsal very cool. And it also involves um, teamwork, which I like. And I could communicate with the other deaf players. So I picked this spot when I was primary 3 picking a CCA. I felt like bowling is going to be so fun, maybe um, play games and all that. I started to play competitive at the age of 13, during secondary 1. I was selected into the school team during the school show. I started bowling in Roman Vines, so I played bowling for about So um, someone was sick and I had to cover her and I played a uh, very new how and when I found out that it was actually quite fun and I wanted to continue to play futsal with um, other deaf players from other countries. So how do I train? Um, I usually go um, to the school's sports hall with the coach and my teammates at least uh, one or two times uh, a week. So one of it would be core training and another day would be skills training. How do I care about my midnight is how um, I run do boy paw twice a week to train my stamina and my endurance. You need endurance for my midnight as it can last about 30 minutes to 1 hour per game you have, to, you have to raise your arm and flip flip your, wave your arm a few times to get you to the correct posture there are other skills like sweating, block jumping do uh, push up, sit up I train 3 times a week with DSA I want to um, from run or uh, exercise in the gym about two times a week. Uh, what are some um, specific skills for futsal? Uh, you need to know how to kick the ball correctly and not to kick it uh, any way you like. Your leg and uh, your ankle must be in the right position then uh, you'll be able to do the rest like passing, kicking and you must also learn how to communicate so that with teamwork, we can make the goal So I train about 3-4 times a week on the lanes and twice a week would be a workout and, or a gym so that I can strengthen my muscles and become a better bowler it's actually not very easy, but if you're winning, you're winning. 
my first competition was that in the women's team championships when I was Roman friends. When I first went for the competition, I felt very nervous, but was determined to try my best. At first, I was really nervous because I had never participated in the tournament before. So when I when I entered the match with the opponent, uh, I felt different from playing against your own teammate. When you play against your own teammate, you are familiar with that with, with the teammate. Because you 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 should change with them. But for your opponent, they they have high high tech skill, which we we may not know. So your skill. It actually quite a surprise to me. I felt very nervous when I first had my my competition in inter schools because it's my first time being in a, in a school team. So I felt very nervous. I felt very scared, and I felt like oh, I I want to be good, you know. So slowly I started to participate more local competitions and slowly to overseas competition. That's when I gain more experience, gain more knowledge. In a sense that um, knowing where my weaknesses is and and what are my strengths. How do I feel during competitions? Oh, I feel very nervous and anxious because um, when I'm um, in the competition itself, uh, my mind is blank. Yeah, that uh, there was once. It's really funny. Uh, I was a player, but I went to became a goalkeeper during the game. It was really funny and everyone, my teammates were all laughing. Yeah, I was um, supposed to be a midfielder during the match and I became a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah I played the wrong role um, because uh, during trainings, uh, I'm always practicing the role of a goalkeeper. So when it came to the competition day, I was so nervous and when I saw the ball that's about to go into the, the goal post, I was so worried so I just ran quickly and automatically blocked the ball. Yeah, and uh, in the end, uh, of course, I got a foul. But uh, after that, uh, I learned, uh, you know, gradually learned that yeah, I'm not a goalkeeper, uh, but a player. Yeah. Running, everyone hate running, including myself. You know, when your coach asks you to run three km, you will feel like, oh, I don't want to run, ah, when tired, lah. <laughs> it's definitely mainly, mainly my mental game. Usually sometimes I'm affected by the external factors, meaning like a crowd, feeling of intimidation by, by other people around me. So sometimes I felt very small. So this is something that I have been facing. If people hand balance on one day, for about one minute, but for deaf people, it's harder to improve my balance and train more. For example, I do more sit-ups. So you know when you're in a game, um, you have to take off your hearing aids. You have to remove your hearing aid. So uh, if the coach uh, calls your name, uh, it's very hard for me to react. You, you had to guess. You uh, follow your teammate how they train. You have to follow your push step. Look at how they train, how they move. Yeah. Balance is important because it helps me make my shots more accurate. I can show you how bad my balance is. First, balance on one leg. Like this. Next, close your eyes and balance the other one. So whenever I really have, when I participate in competitions, I have to calm down and I have to actually have fun. Meaning like I can still somewhat focus and have fun at the same time. Because I realise that I have to actually enjoy the presence in the competition. But if I'm in a very pressured environment, like example finals, that one is really, 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 really stressful for me. So when that happens, I don't perform well. So this is something that I really need to work on my mental game in order to try to 
focus and calm myself down. Uh, another challenge is the communication uh, between the players because we always like to look down at the ball and uh, never look up. Yeah, so um, that's a problem. Yeah, so the coach always scolds us and tells us that we must, must look up and not to keep looking at the ball all the time. I like cycling. So why I like to learn about cycling is because it is the leg, leg training. For me, I like leg training. Anything that is related to running, walking, hiking, uh, riding. You say you don't like to run. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Do you like running? No, I don't like running. Last year, during the circuit with her, I tried new sports for fun. For example, I tried badminton, softball, and I also tried cycling. Usually, I'm very interested in netball, uh, captain, like, so captain's ball and netball. It's somewhat similar in a way that, like, I love playing ball games. Maybe that's why I like bowling, huh? <laughs> I've always wanted to learn netball, actually. But wearing a cochlear implant is something that we have to be really careful about because it's a very expensive equipment and I just play ball games for fun now. Hmm. Um, I want to learn rollerblading and um, table tennis. Yeah, I feel that uh, rollerblading is really cool and if you go to the park, it's um, very convenient just to rollerblade. You know, you don't have to go through the trouble of finding a bicycle to rent. <laughs> so, when I rollerblade, I also can enjoy the wind. I want to learn table tennis because I've tried um, table tennis before and I find it very interesting. Uh, like uh, how the ball bounces and uh, where the ball can bounce to so you must know like angles of how the ball moves I like to see the ball bounce <laughs> Yes, sport is for everyone as long as they enjoy doing things that they want sport is for everyone Yes Sports is good for health and also good for making friends. I think that sports is definitely for everyone because we have para games, death games. Sports has been seen as an inclusive thing because um, there's no limit. Yes, I feel that sports is for everyone because keeping fit is very important. So don't be lazy, don't eat too much. Yeah, exercise is good. I I'm talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to miss training, but sometimes I miss training because of school homework. But uh, I will always try to come to training. I ever skip training to do something else, such as like taking a break such as um, doing something relaxing because I'm a working adult now so like I work in the day and I train at night so it can be very tiring so I thought like sometimes I really need to have a rest when I come back to training I will feel much better I will feel much more motivated to train to be better yes play computer games <laughs> sleeping eating a lot yes I love McDonald's I'm much more I eat I eat a bit of fried and the orange food. I think a healthy food is best. Yes, yeah. I've missed trainings before. Why? Um, because um, after a long day of work, um, I don't really have the mood uh, to go for training. Yeah, so I have told my coach that maybe my meeting ended late. Yeah. <laughs> I lied. Hey kids, don't lie, eh? it's bad because uh, in the end my coach uh, found out, yep. so be careful. It's 
first start with walking more. The more you walk, the more you like the exercise. Do remember, chase for the bus. Don't miss the bus. Know that you, <laughs> know that you love running. Uh, you must endure. Your mental, your mentality must be strong. Don't get distracted by nothing else. Focus on one thing, and you will improve from there. Sports swimming is hard, but I think most important is to enjoy playing the sports and be happy. So sports is a lot of, um, I would say, a lot of benefits in terms of interaction, in terms of health, in terms of happiness. And sports is also something that can keep people together and also allows us to do activities together with our friends and family. As I was with my deaf teammates, they are like family to me also. It's, they're not just teammates, they're not just friends, but they're somewhat like a family too. So I felt like sports really bring people together so we can always enjoy, we can always have fun. So whenever when in competitions, when we might do badly, we still have one, each other and one another to cheer ourselves up and also motivate each other up. Why do I want you to join deaf sports? Because um, I want you to interact with the other deaf people. Yeah, they will be like your peers. Then you can share your problems with them. You can share everything. And you will have, you know, someone um, to go along the journey with you. And I also noticed that um, last time, um, I always wanted to play sports. But the problem was that sports is always um, focused on the hearing. So I felt that it was very hard for me to join. Um, but I did try. So when I went for a hearing uh, sports trial, um, I felt very left out. But I had no choice and decided to join another CCA like library uh, for all my secondary school life. So I felt a little sad, but now we have deaf sports. So why not? So you can join and meet other deaf too. So not only deaf friends, but you can also meet hearing and hard of hearing friends. Sometimes the hearing will also organize games with you and you can learn skills from them. And for the hearing, you know, um, just play like usual. Mm, teach uh, them how the deaf how to improve their skills and how to communicate and you'll never know that you might actually learn something from the deaf too and you feel amazing when you play with the deaf I had many players told me before like wow you know I, I feel very inspired to see uh, many deaf people interested in sports because sports have been a hearing focus and you don't really see the deaf, so you can join and play. Let the hearing see you play, right? We have come to the end of our sharing session. We hope that you have enjoyed our sharing and feel inspired to play deaf sports. Hope to see you in our games!